Buenas noches, Carlos. Bien, gracias. ¿Y tú qué tal? Pues bien, aquí ya, esperando. Me nomás aquel día, no sé cuándo estaba el teacher, se le cayó el Intel y no grabó el relajo. ¿De acordás, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Uh -huh. Menos mal, cabal, lo que dije, que se le iba a caer el, el intro y cabal, lo primero que le pasó. <risa> Menos mal. Menos mal, ya en tres pocas se va a conectar para que vea. Ya, ya está el dicho. Uh -huh. ¿Repasaste algo? Eh, eh, ayer no, no, no asistí. Ah, Así que me perdí la, calle, la, la clase de ella. Yo igual, solo un ratito me conecté, tuve problemas con la red. Yo igual. Así que voy a comentar por ahora. Primera vez que bien. Sí, porque creo que ahora el se lleva el tema normal. Sí. Hey, hello guys, how are you? Hello teacher, good night. Great teacher, thanks. Good evening. How is everything? Great. Great. Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. A little tired. Oh, right. Yes. But it's, it's Thursday, right? So we're going to have a little right. time to rest. Okay, good. Then, uh, okay, so we're going to start today. We have, I have some a review to, to make. I have some videos and other material to, to check the The topic uh, is a sequence algorithm. Uh -huh, exactly. That's, right. That's the one that we're going to make the review. And then after we're going to okay. go to, to another topic. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, don't forget to, to mute your microphones if you hear too much noise so that we don't interfere with the noise, okay? If you have questions, okay. let me know uh, when after we watch the video, so when you have a, a doubt, okay? Okay, let's see, everything is, it's going to change this for the, for the video, that's it. Okay. First one. Let me just start with this one. Let me check the computer sound and there we go. Today we are going to learn um, how to explain yes, steps of uh, or events, events in order. Okay, so how to explain the sequence of events using some sequencing adverbs, okay? Okay, can you hear? No problem with the sound? No, no problem. No. Okay, no. Let's have a look. These are the sequencing adverbs. First, next, then, after that, and finally. This is the right order. First, next, then, after that, and finally. Okay, so let's have a look at these adverbs in action. For example, when you want to explain a recipe, like to make a cake or how to make a, a omelette, or why not, how to make a cup of tea? Yes, famous cup of tea. So. We, you use also these words first, next, then, after, and finally to explain the correct order, the steps. Okay, for example, make a cup of tea first, put the, the water to boil. Yes, we boiled some water in a kettle like this. Next, serve the water in a cup, of, in a cup like this one. Yes, put the water in the cup. Next, yes. Can you do these before these? Can you do serve the water in a cup before you boil the water? No, no. You need to do this first. Okay, this is the right order. Boil the water, and then f next serve the water in a cup. Then, then, 
After this, then, put the tea bag in the water, a tea bag inside the cup of water, yes? After that, after, add some sugar and milk, if you fancy, of course. After, add some sugar and milk. And finally, finally, the last step, add a biscuit and enjoy your tea. Okay, so this is right over the next then of explain the correct order the steps okay okay good now if you can see here uh, we have the the sequence adverbs right first next step after finally and we have the we boil some water uh, next uh, serve the water in the cup okay then put the tea bag okay in the water and then add some sugar and milk after but this is only if you like it right but if you don't like sugar or if you don't consume sugar no sugar no milk no problem you can omit this step and at the end you know you have a, a cookie a biscuit okay and enjoy your tea Okay, if you see, this is the pronunciation is British, right? The lady speaks British English, right? So that's what she's basically explaining how For example, to prepare. To make a cup of tea first, a cup of tea. put the, the water to boil, yes? We boiled some water in a kettle like this. Next, serve the water in a cup, of, in a cup like this one, yes? Put the water in the cup, next. Yes. Can you do these before these? Can you do serve the water in a cup before you boil the water? No. No. You need to do this first. Okay? This is the right order. Boil the water and then next serve the water in a cup. Then then after these then put the tea bag in the water. A tea bag inside the cup of water. Yes? After that, after, add some sugar and milk, if you fancy, of course. After, add some sugar and milk. And finally, finally, the last step, add a biscuit and enjoy your tea. Okay, so this is right over there. Okay, good. So this could, be, this could be something similar, you know, uh, like, like when we are preparing a... Um, a cup of coffee, right? That we say first, I mean, but probably the instant coffee, right? That says first, we boil some water, right? Then uh, we serve the water in a cup. Then we put the coffee, the powder coffee, okay, the, pop, the coffee in the water. And then we add some sugar or a uh, milk, if you like it, right? And then if you want uh, some uh, bakery, you know, some uh, pastry, some a piece of bread, you can also uh, eat it with the coffee, right? Or a cookie, which is going to be similar. Okay, any questions about vocabulary? No. No, okay. Now, the other thing that you have to see is that, for example, the structure, right? First, now here could be you or we right doesn't matter okay we boil you boil the water if you're giving instructions or only boil okay remember these are like um, imperative imperative verbs right that when you say stand up sit down uh, turn on your camera turn off your camera uh, turn on your microphone turn off your microphone okay so these are imperatives okay uh, verbs that we use to give instructions, okay? Boil some water, serve the coffee, put the coffee on the table, add some sugar, add more water, okay? So all this are verbs, you know, that we're gonna use in order to give some instructions. Okay, now you're going to just remember this, uh, this event. This is about food. Now we have another one here. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, let me 
show you this uh, other video. And you will see a little kid giving instructions, a lady and a girl. So different things. Do you know how to make hot chocolate? To begin with, you need a big mug. Then you put some hot chocolate mix in the mug. After that, you pour in hot water or hot milk. Finally, you stir. If you want, you can add whipped cream or marshmallows. Okay. This is how to make hot chocolate, right? To begin with, you need a big mug. Okay, here you can use to begin with, or you can also use to start with. To begin with, or to start with. Okay, and you need a big mug. Okay, the, the normal uh, cups, you saw it in the previous video, right? But this one, the one that we use here, this is, these are the ones that we use in El Salvador, right? Okay? Yeah. Huh? This one. Okay, so it's similar, similar to this, right? So then, then this is a mug. Okay, so you say a big mug, and then? Then you put some hot chocolate mix in the mug. Okay. After that, you pour in hot water or... Okay, pour. What is pour? Look at the action. Put. Huh? Put. Pour. Pour. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. It's more... It's a little more formal, right? When you say... Verter. Yes? Uh, okay, you pour. Or like probably you will, we would probably say in Spanish also a charagua, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, this is when we're gonna use pour. Okay, pour is also when it is raining we use is pouring. Okay, it's pouring is that it's raining. Okay, so you pour in hot water or hot milk or hot milk. Finally, you stir. If you want, you can add whipped cream or marshmallows. Okay, and that is the whipped cream, right? Like the one that we use for for cakes, right? Or marshmallows. It's a kid English. Wrapping a present isn't difficult. To get started, you need a big sheet of wrap. Okay, you see, for example, in the previous one, the boy used the expression to begin with. Okay. And now you can also use another expression so that you don't repeat the same uh, expressions all the time. This is to increase your vocabulary. You can use to get at it, right? To start with, begin with. Okay, and this is how you're going to wrap um, a present. Wrap paper. First, put the gift in the center. Second, fold in both sides and tape them together. Okay, what was the first instruction? First? Anybody? Put the present in the center. Okay, put the present in the center. Second? Listen again. The center. Okay. Second, fold in both sides and tape them together. Okay, second. 
fold in both in both sides and tape them together. Okay, fold. Okay, fold both sides. Okay, fold both sides. Okay, this side and the others. You see, she folded one. And then she's going to fold the other one, and then she's going to tape them together. The other one. Third, fold the ends and tape them. Third, fold. Fold the ends, tape them. Fold the ends and tape them. Okay, fold the ends. Right, the ends. Okay. The ends, las puntas, right? The ends, mm -hmm. and tape, tape them. them. For example, you see that, for example, the ends, you can say, ah, los finales. But then uh, sometimes we have to find the interpretation, right? What would be, okay, then in this one, all the ends and tape them. Lastly, you can put on ribbons and bows. Okay, for example, here we say, lastly, is like finally, too. Okay, another synonym. Then put the ribbons, the ribbon, and bows. Okay. Don't forget to write the person's name on the gift. Okay, don't forget to write the name of the, the person's name on the gift. It's easy to make holiday cookies. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. The first thing you need to do is sprinkle some flour. Next we roll out the dough. Then we cut out shapes like stars and bells. After that we put them on the pan. can put on some sprinkles. Finally, you bake them for eight to nine minutes. Decorating the tree takes time. For starters, you have to choose a tree. Do you want a real tree or an artificial tree? After you put your tree up, you can turn on the lights. Just like that. Then you put on garland like these. Next, you put on all the ornaments. Be sure to spread them out. It's a good idea to step back and look at your work. The last thing you do is put on the tree topper. Here's how you make a snow angel. First of all, you need to wait for it to snow. Then, when it does, be sure to dress warmly. Find a good spot. Then lie down with your arms out. Next, move your arms and legs up and down. The tricky part is getting up and not messing up your angel. See? By the way, if you have a dog, they may want to help a little bit. Do you know how to sled ride? Why don't you tell me how to do it in the comment section? Thanks 
thanks for watching and happy holidays. All right. Now, oh, any new words, any expression that you got from the from the two videos? Any ideas? For example, the idea is that you see, for example, how they are using different expressions, the verbs, the step by step, you know, the, with a logical, right, logical order. Okay, when we explain or when we give instruction okay about the things that we can do or that we want people uh, to do right so then we have another one but this one is reading and we're going to you're going to give me the answers okay which is this one okay so here, for example, the, let's see, uh, Elena, can you please read the introduction and the examples here? Okay, introduction. We use the sequence of adverbs first, next, then, and finally, to describe the order in which two or more actions happen. Example, making an omelet. First, I break the eggs, then I hit the butter in a pan. Next, I add the eggs. Finally, I eat the omelet with toast. Okay, good. So if you see here, there are only one, two, three, let's say four easy steps, right? The break the eggs, heat, okay, heat the butter in the pan, add the eggs, and then you do the omelet, okay? Easy. Then, those are steps. Now, Mariela, can you please read the instruction here? It's okay. Uh, we and use a person. Uh -huh. That's great. We use a co comma after first, next, then, and finally, when they introduce the sentence that, that describes the action. First, for an action that happens before any others. We can also use first, at the end of the sentence. I have a lot of work to do. First, I will make a make a cup of tea. I will make a cup of tea first. Okay. So you see, for example, first I will make a cup of tea, or then you say I will make a cup of tea first. What is the difference that in the first sentence you are using the comma, right? In the second sentence, you don't use the comma, okay? This is another way to say it, right? This is a, some, there is some kind of flexibility, right? Okay, right. what about the next one? Uh, can you read the next one, please, Ada? It says, uh, next. Next, and then can both the, be used for an action that happens after another action, but, we usually use, use next for an action that happens immediately after another action or as soon as possible. We can also use next at the, at the end of the sentence. I went to Bolivia on <coughs> holiday. Next, I went to, I went to, I went to go to Brazil. I'm eating breakfast now. I will clean the kitchen next. Okay. You see, that's the other way to use, okay? I'm eating breakfast now. I will, I will clean the kitchen next. Next, Okay, you can say, for example, I am working right now. I am teaching right now. I will have dinner next. So I will, um, I will uh, prepare the tomorrow's class next. Okay, so, or next. I will prepare tomorrow's class. It's no problem. Okay, I did. Read the next one, please. And then. I saw it in. Okay. Minime? Okay. Then. then, for an action that happens after another action, if it's not immediately, we can use and then without a comma. 
Sora is doing her degree. Then she wants to be a lawyer. Sora will probably not be a lawyer immediately after she gets her degree. They went shopping in the morning and then they went to the zoo. We don't know if they went to the zoo immediately after they went shopping. Mm -hmm. Only says and then, right? So what happened exactly between the shopping and going to the zoo? Probably they stopped for a cup of coffee or something. Okay, good. Ricardo, read the last one, finally. Okay, finally. For the action that happens at the end, after any others, or after a long time, we can use finally before the verb without a comma. I worked all evening. Finally, I went to bed at 11 p.m. I worked all evening and I finally went to bed at 11 p.m. After five years, I finally sold the house. house. Okay, thank you very much. Now, questions about vocabulary? No problem in this moment? No. No, no, teacher. No, no, no. Right. no, teacher. Okay, now there are some little questions here, right? We have a question like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's see. Hey, Carlos, can you please read the first one? Carlos Ramos, read the first one and choose an answer. No? Okay, Aide, can you read the first one? Okay. If you want to pass your exam, you must study very hard. First, first and next, then or finally. Then or finally. And first. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Now, Mariela, number two. Or the second one. It's okay. David woke up late and he was late for work. First, next, then, and finally. David woke up. Mm, next or then. Okay, choose one. Um, then. Okay, then, good. Uh, Elena, how about number three? Michael finished the project last week. Um, finally. Okay, Michael finally finished the project last week. Okay, good. Uh, let's see here, Ricardo. How about number, well, the next one, when you? When you cook veg, vegetables, you Be should- Vegetables? Vegetables, when you, when you cook vegetables, you should wash them first. First, okay. You should wash them first, mm -hmm. you see? First, you should wash them. Okay, uh, if you see, for example, the, if you, in this example, you can see that when you say, when you cook vegetables, you should wash them first. Sounds more friendly, right? And in their cases, you know, when you cook vegetables first, you should wash them. Okay, sounds more like an instruction, okay? Like, uh, not a, like an order very, uh, let's say like a uh, rude, but you see there is a difference in the tone, okay? In the way that we say it. Okay, good. Uh, let's see who else uh, need him. Tell me the next one. James was was ill for a week before he went to the doctor. Next. Before James was ill for a week before he. Before next. he. Next. No, then. <laughs> <laughs> he then went to the doctor. Okay. Uh, 
then went to the doctor. Imagine, no, this, imagine this is finally in El Salvador, right? He said James was ill for a week before he uh -huh, finally sounds more uh -huh, before he finally say a thing, right? <laughs> that's very that's very common in our country. Okay, okay. good. Okay. <laughs> now, Ada, the last one. Tom and Sarah travel a lot. Travel a lot. They don't know where to go. Mm, I don't know, but come Saturday. Next. Next. Okay, that sounds more logic. Okay, now let's check our answers. Okay, next is correct. Finally is correct. Okay, first is correct. Finally is also correct. Then also correct and first. Okay? So you see now you have a better idea that you can use the sequence adverb in let's say in in different ways, right? In different forms. Not only not only in the in the basic way, right? So you can use them at the end. And uh, the difference will be that when we use them at the beginning, sounds more like a, like an order, like a command, like an instruction, right? Right. It's not a, a when you go uh, another way that you can make to soft uh, to take to soften this uh, instructions is using the word please, right? If mm -hmm. I say, for example, uh, open your books, please. Okay, sounds more polite than when you say open your books, okay? Now, open your books, then sounds like, okay, you open, right? like an instruction. Okay, uh, put the garbage, put the garbage in the, in the bin. Okay, sounds like an instruction. But put the garbage in the bin, please. Okay, so these are, you know, instructions for how to give, uh, let's say, to be more, more polite and not to sound too rude. Okay, you see now that you can also use the frequency adverbs, uh, so, sorry, the frequency uh, sequence adverbs in, uh, at the end, at the end of the sentence. Okay, so that's the end basically of the, of the, of that uh, topic. And now we have another one that will take a little more practice Okay. By the way, the, uh, have you have you uh, been a, a working with the platform with uh, a, like, uh, the how do you call it? the knowledge check and the and the midterm exam? Are you finished yeah. with that? Yes, everybody? Yes. Okay. If anybody has a question or doubt uh, about it, uh, remember that my number is in the in the WhatsApp, right? You can send me a, if you want a private WhatsApp or something, if you have a doubt or something, or problems that you may, uh, you may uh, let's say, find, uh, because sometimes there are some, uh, some issues, right, with the platform. So then, uh, but try to, to finish this week because next week is the last one, right? So next week, if you see here, we are here right now, okay? And then uh, a, we're gonna have a, a practice with the future and I will give you a little review probably on Wednesday and Thursday so that you can do the, the, the knowledge, I mean the knowledge check and the final exam. Okay. Okay. We just ha we just have a uh, four more after this. We only have four more classes, right? Four next week. 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and we finish. All right? Okay. So make sure that you are very clear with all the topics. This weekend, you can go through the uh, these topics that we had, the past tense, the simple past tense would be, right? Uh, questions would be. On Wednesday and Thursday, I, I, I'm going to give you a quick review on this. So just to check if you have any doubts. Yeah, with the past tense, then you have the how nouns, expressions of quantity, right? Like a lot, many, much. Uh, indirect questions, remember, you know where. And then the one, well, you have the midterm test. And knowledge check. So make sure you check them all, okay? Now, let's see. This is where we were. Are we up? Okay. So we watched this video yesterday, right? <coughs> the teacher with Will? Yes, teacher. And going to? Okay. And then, uh, what do you remember? Wait a minute. Hi everyone, I the end of the go to France for my next vacation program. To illustrate how this topic is used. It sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Job, so it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. No okay. In order to express these ideas, you're going to... Okay, this is what I want you to see the examples only. So we can we can use them. Okay. Then we have a, there is a question here. What are you going to do? Okay, what are you going to do? Uh, let's say this uh, uh, this weekend. What are you going to do tonight? You say I'm going to relax at the beach. We're going to go uh, surfing every day. I'm not going to do anything special. But look at this, these are plans, okay? Plans that we have. And then in this case, what are you going to do? Then when you are not sure, then you can use this one. I'm not sure, maybe, I don't know, I probably, okay? Probably the question is similar, okay? But if you don't have, for example, uh, who has plans for this weekend? Let's see, who has plans for this weekend? Anybody? What are you going to do this weekend? You can choose from this block or from this block. If you have plans, you can tell me I'm going. And if you don't have plans, you can say I'm not sure. I guess I will, or sorry, or you can say, um, yeah, I'm not sure, I guess I'll just stay home, maybe I'll watch, okay? In my case, teacher, uh -huh. I'm not sure, I will start to, to work. Okay, I'm not sure, I, I will probably start to work, I'll guess. Yes. I will start to work, okay? So you're not sure, good. What about you, uh, Ada? What are you going to do? Let's say uh, this Saturday and Sunday. Me, teacher. Yes. I see, I think I'm going to clean my house. Okay. I'm then. going to, to care my my daughters. Okay. So and have, oh. maybe I will I will uh, going to watch a, watch a movie. Okay, very good. Then I think when you use I think you are in this group. I think I will clean my house. Then I'm going to take care of my daughter. It's in this other group, a plan. 
and I ah, okay. and probably I will watch a movie. Okay. When you are not very sure, then you just will. And then in your case, only you are sure that you're going to take care of your daughter, right? Then so you say, I'm going to take care of my daughter. That's a plan. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, what about you, uh, Ricardo? Um, I'm going to study for my exam. Okay, very good. That's the plan. Okay, excellent. And Aide? I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home. Well, it's a nice plan, very relaxing. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, uh, Mariela, you already told me, right? Uh, Ninive, how about you? Mm, I'm going to have a little lunch with my brother for celebrate uh, Father's Day. Okay, very good. I'm going to have a lunch, a little lunch with my uh, brother to celebrate Father's Day. Very good. <laughs> yes, very good, very nice. Okay, Carlos. Uh, maybe I watch a uh, movie in Netflix tonight. Maybe I'll watch. I'll I watch, will watch. A, mo uh -huh. will a, watch. Movie, a movie on Netflix tonight. Thank you. Okay, Carlos Sura. Okay, uh, I'm going to study for um, the exam. I'm going to study for the exam. Okay, that's your plan. And maybe i will watch a movie this end of week this weekend yes very good elena okay i'm going to finish the lesson of our english program i'm going to finish the lesson okay very good the english program that's very responsible of you elena very good <laughs> <laughs> okay Jose Luis. I'm going to work very hard this weekend and maybe take the dinner uh, on the yard. Oh, the, okay, the first part is bad, but anyway, the second part, the second part sounds good. You know, you're gonna have dinner, you know, right there in the yard with the family. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Hey, Laura, how about you? I'm going to cook pizza tomorrow. I'm going to? I am going to cook to make pizza to make uh, a pizza. to make to make a pizza tomorrow. All right, that sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. Excellent. And Lisa. And Saturday, I'm going to work. And Sunday, it's my hus husband's birthday, so I'm going to order some food, and I'm going to buy a cake. Okay, sounds like a well-planned weekend. Okay, yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> okay, work and celebration. Okay, yeah. nice, nice. Okay, good. Happy birthday to your husband then in advance. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, so then, uh, well, almost everybody said some sentences. Okay, now we have, for example, remember, going to and will. Questions in this moment? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I would like to repeat uh, one one sentence. phrase, mm -hmm. one sentence from here, and let me know uh, if do you listen if do you listen me if it's good pronunciation because I am confused. For example, here in this part, uh, say I got I guess I'll just stay home. Uh, I guess uh -huh. I, I get is I guess. I, I guess mm -hmm. I'll. I'll. I guess I'll. Like I'll? Um, like, okay, can a, you a, explain a, a, me? A -L. I'll. I'll just stay home. I'll just stay home. Okay, I'll, got it. Uh, I'll, a little I, right? I, like we say, I'll. 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 Then you say, okay. I guess I'll stay, I'll just stay home. Okay, thanks. Okay, I guess. I guess thanks. I'll just stay home. 
it's because uh, sometimes I am, I, I am listening and so uh, and some people I so I listen I guess or oh, I guess I guess uh -huh. you say mm -hmm. I guess I guess 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 no gas no gold yeah mm -hmm. yeah no I guess guess yeah I guess Okay, thanks. And, and sometimes it could happen mm -hmm. that uh, when people speak fast, uh, well, if it is a, a native speaker, sometimes it sounds weird. It's very they, close. I have very close the sound. But I say, but I guess I'll, I guess mm -hmm. I, that's why I say, I guess I'll just stay home. I guess. Oh, I'll, yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh? yeah. Yes, I listen to the, the first uh, pronunciation. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks. I guess I'll just stay home. That Thank happens. you. Okay. Good. Okay, so then that's what I wanted you to see, how to make that probably that you can see when you have a plan and when you don't. All right, now let me show you what I told you yesterday also, that there are other ways to choose the future, right? Example, let me show you this here. Okay, can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, here. There we go. All right. Good. Then, uh, Jose Luis, can you read this part here? What the man says. Future be going to and will. Oh no, it's going to rain. I'll get all wet. Checkpoint. Check the main point of the car, 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 carton. The man forgot his umbrella. The man is going to fall in the, in the hole. Okay, good. Now here is the interpretation and in which is the best, uh, let's say, uh, uh, the main point that you can see in the picture, right? First, oh no, it's going to rain. I'll get all wet. Okay. Then, and in the other one, is the man forgot his umbrella. Okay. So, which is the answer here? The second one. The second one. Yes, the man is going to fall into the hole. Okay, why do you think is the second one? Or why, why are you telling me that is the man is going to fall in the hole and not the man forgot his umbrella? For the picture. Uh-huh, what do you see in the picture? There is a hole. Uh -huh. And the man, and the man go from no, go to the hole. It's going in that direction, right? Right. And this is a prediction. Remember what I told you yesterday, right? So we can predict that the man is not, right in this moment, he's not falling in the hole, right? But we can predict that he's going to fall in the hole because he's looking at what? The sky. What uh huh. You say, oh no. He's He's looking at the rain, right? He's, he's worried about the rain. He's not worried about the hole. Mm -hmm. Okay? So then we, okay. Can, we can predict that he's going to fall. Mm -hmm. and, and he he can predict that it's going to rain because you see right here the, 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 the lightning, okay? the lightning here, and the clouds are very dark, okay? And he is sure. He, he is sure that he's going to get wet, that he will get wet, okay, because he has no umbrella, okay? So you see, this is the interpretation how we use also going to, not only for plants, but also for prediction. A thing that you see that is about to happen, then you say it's going to, okay? For example, here we have, uh, a shark, okay, you see, for example, be going to. Remember that when we say I am 
going to live. Picture it is, we you they are. And if we want to make a negative sentence, we only say not. Okay? And then okay. we say, we're not going to live soon. We're not going to, okay, for example, we are not or we're not going to have class tomorrow. Okay? Because it's right. Okay? Then it, the next one is the question form. Am I going to live soon? Is, is he, is she, are you? And if you see the, the answer is like if you were talking about the present, right? Yes, you are. Yes, he is. Yes, I am. Okay, for example, Mariela, ask a question to, La to Laura, right? About are you going to? Anything. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Are you take a shower tomorrow? Are you are you going? <laughs> uh -huh. Are you going to take a shower tomorrow? Yes, of course. I am going to take a shower tomorrow. Very, okay. <laughs> very nice answer. Okay, you know why? Because when you say uh, when you say of course, you make emphasis. Okay, yes, okay. that is a good answer. Okay, because you say. Yes, of course, I am going to take a shower tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. You can say, no, oh, yes, I am, right? Or maybe. I mean, no problem. You can answer. You can also answer, uh, probably, if it is not too cold, right? <laughs> and then you can, we can use it. So it's possible, right? Yes, uh, exactly. Or, for example, you can also say, well, uh, maybe if I don't get up too late because I have to will start working at 6 a.m., okay, for example, right? So it could be some other different answer. But this one is perfect answer. Thank you, Laura, and thank you, Mariela. It's okay. okay. Uh, Elena, ask a question to Carlos using, are you going to? Okay, Carlos, are you going to cook the dinner tomorrow? Very good. Uh, no. No, I don't. No, I am not. No, I'm not. No, okay. no, I am not. Uh -huh. you, can, you, you have to use this one. No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, then uh, uh, Carlos Sura, ask a question to Marvin. Are you going to? Okay. Uh, are you going to travel to the other country? To another country? Another country. Hey, Marvin, are you there? Marvin? Maybe Marvin is not there or has a problem with the audio maybe okay probably then uh Lydia, can you answer the question are you going to travel to another country and uh, no i'm not going to travel another country to another country to another country okay good okay so you see this is the question form right are you going to and then we use the verb in the base form and the answer is yes i am no i am not and you can give a long or short answer. And then we can also use WH words. Okay, you can use when, why, what else? Help me please, when, why? What? What, uh-huh. What else? Where? Where, mm -hmm. Another one? Who? Which? Which? Uh -huh, which? What else? How? How? Um, yes. Why? Why? Who's? Okay. Okay, for example, uh, do you remember this? Let me see. Here. Do you remember this word? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, whose? Okay. Do you remember that word? That I that no. I wrote? No. 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 <laughs> when you when you are talking about possession no. Mm -mm, no for example like when we say whose whose children whose children are going to pay the money that the government is asking now okay whose children whose children are going to pay then our children, our children are going to pay for all the money that the government is, that the governments, okay, that all the governments are uh, loaning in this, in all these years, right? So this is whose possession. Uh, for example, uh, let's suppose that whose, uh, let me see, whose car is going to, Whose car is going to, let's say, to travel a lot this month? Whose car is going to travel a lot this month? Then you say, my car is going to travel a lot this month from Santa Ana to San Miguel every, every let's say, every week. Or you can say, Elena's car is going to uh, travel a lot this month because she has to drive from Santa Ana to to Sulutan every every weekend. Okay, this is who's remember the king. Okay, all right. What else? What is another word that we use? Who's who? Who's who? What? You can write more if you want. You already say where, uh, what else, why, uh, when, how, what else do you say? Uh, which. Which, uh -huh, thank you. Which, uh, how, you can use how much. How much are you going to pay for that car? Uh, how many? Okay. How often? How often? Yes, correct. Okay, good. You see, it's, you have a lot of vocabulary. If you, uh, it's good to practice all this vocabulary because sometimes if you don't use it, we forget it. How? Okay. For example, how often? Okay. How long? How many? How many, yes, how many, correct. How many, how long? Uh, what else? Okay, for example, we have, uh, well, look at this one, how much? How much are you going to spend tomorrow? How much money are you going to spend this weekend? Okay, I'm going to spend only $2. How much money are you going to spend on gas next month? Okay, if you are not working, probably not too much. But if you are working, if you have to go out, probably $100, I don't know. Okay, how many people are going to get sick if they don't get, if they don't take care of themselves? How many? Then you can say, many people are going to get sick if they don't take care of themselves. Okay, how often? How often are you going to go to the doctor next year? Okay, every, every six months, every two months. Okay, how long are you going to stay a, Let's say, how long are you going to stay in your house tomorrow? Okay, I'm going to stay all day. All right? So this is some vocabulary that you can use. You can see here that you use. Uh, when? Uh, 
Okay, wait a minute. Here, okay, when, why? And this is some example. Then you have also the work with will. Now, will is easier, right? Because with will, will we only use will and then with all the subjects. I, he, she, he, we, you, they, and then will. No problem. But here. Okay, Laura, can you please read this part here? Uh, you can use be going to our will to talk about future plans or predictions. Now the examples. Okay. Professor Broom. Okay, okay. Professor Brooms is going to attend a conference next week. Mm -hmm. Pro Professor Room will attend a conference next week. I think it's going to be very interesting. I think it it will be very interesting. Okay, good. This is about interesting. Good. Ligia, can you read the second one? Use be going to. Yes. And, okay. Use be going to when there is something in the present that leads to the prediction. Use will when you decide something at the moment of speaking. Look at the, those dark clouds. It's going to rain. Not look at those dark clouds. It rained. Okay. Incorrect. Yes. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. uh, professor, professor Plum is speaking at noon. Oh, I think I'll go to his his talk. Okay, good. If you see here, this is just in future too. This is one of the forms I told you. Okay, very good. Now, uh, continue here with this part, please. Pronunciation note. In informal speech, going to is often pronounced gonna. Don't, do not write gonna. Okay. Uh, sometimes when we speak, we say, okay, what are you gonna do, right? I'm gonna stay home, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna work, it's gonna rain. Uh, in some uh, informal English, you can write gonna, okay? But when you are writing a report for your boss or uh, you're writing a letter or an email in business, okay? Don't use gonna, okay? Use going to. Okay, here. Uh, Ricardo, read the first okay. expression, the first uh, picture, please. And describe <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Look at the picture. They show events from a day in Professor Broom's life. Write prediction or, or guess. Use the words in the box in a form of the be going to or not be going to. Okay. Number one. Uh, it's going to rain. Okay, good. Now, number two, Elena. It's going to take a trip. Okay, uh, it's going to take a trip. Take a trip. Okay, yes, that's the one, right? He's going to take a trip. Yes, uh, next one, Ada, number three. He's going to train Bye. a trip. I'm, I'm, it's negative. I, I give you a, a tip. Is a tip is negative. Ah. It is negative. Isn't. Mm -hmm. He isn't. He isn't. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. Because the word, it, this is a train, right? But if you see, there is no train here. Then it's negative. Mm. 
He sent a train? No. No. Take okay. a trip. He's, well, no, he's going to take he's a trip. In, ah, he is in, he's in he's going, going to take to a trip. Take. No, he is going to take a trip. He is. Affirmative. Okay, this one is here. But what about the next one? Okay, right, right. Uh huh. Mm. He, he isn't, isn't take a trip. He isn't going to drive. Going. He, uh -huh. he isn't going, going to, to drive. <gasps> okay. He is going to take a train. Okay. Then in negative here, say he isn't going, going to, to drive. Okay. He isn't going to drive. Good. What uh, about them? You got okay. it? Yes. Okay. And then the next one is he's going to give a speech. Give a speech. Then he's going, he's going to answer the phone. Yes. And he? He's going to? He's not? Read the new paper. Uh -huh. He's, he's not, not going to watch, watch TV. Uh -huh. He's not going he's to not watch, watch TV. He's not going to watch TV. Not watch TV. Okay. Okay, people. All right. So then if you see this is a, a long topic, right, that we have, then there will be more information. We're going to stop here for uh, for today and we continue on Monday. Okay. 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 Have a very nice weekend. Okay. Relax. Have a good night. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, sir.